Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am heading down to the Willamette Valley for a good friend's wedding and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go down a little early and hit some thrift stores along the way. I did grow up in that area, but I didn't grow up thrifting and so it wasn't until we moved to Portland and I discovered my love of thrifting um, and then we went back down to visit family that I discovered what a great thrifting scene they have there. So I'm heading down a few hours early so I can hit some thrift stores along the way. First, we're going to stop at St. Vinny's, which is one of my favorite thrift stores in Albany, Oregon. It's a St. Vincent de Paul, and they always have, well, it's a huge store, and they always have super unique items. Let's go. This store has a huge selection of furniture. There's this cool mid-century modern dresser with an attached mirror. It's not my style nor something I'm looking for. And these little pedestals are what caught my eye from across the store. The largest one was $24.99 and although they're super cute, they were pretty chipped. I then saw this vintage rocking chair and this green upholstery is in perfect condition. I thought this bamboo wrapped nightstand was very unique until I got closer and saw how damaged it was. You can't go wrong with a mid-century modern dining table and for only $69.99 it's a deal that can't be beat. I love anything marble or natural stone. This salt and pepper shaker and napkin holder were gorgeous, but they were $15 and I really didn't need them. and cup section is an area I always look at at a thrift store. I'm looking for sets of four or more that have any sort of marking on them. These are Duralax made in France and I don't think they're super valuable so I'm going to pass. love strolling the wood aisle at a thrift store. I loved this curved vase. It was wrapped in twine but it wasn't vintage and I couldn't tell if it was a DIY project or something more unique so I decided to pass. This piece of pottery was cute but not my style. As you can see, I have an addiction to flipping every piece of pottery over looking for a maker's mark. The silver and brass aisle is one of my favorite parts of the thrift store because everything is gorgeous and unique and made from that high quality material. This wood framed mirror is super cute, but I already have a plethora of extra mirrors at my house, so I'm going to pass. These large brass discs were really pretty, but they were giving me big box store. And I think I recognize them from West Elm or Crate and Barrel or a store like that. Although I'm not really into that boho look anymore, I still had to peruse the basket aisle. I found this really unique egg-shaped basket. You can't set it down or anything because it was completely rounded at the base, but I thought it was fun. I also spotted this uh, picnic basket. Oh my gosh, you guys, the book section at this store is unreal. 
One of my favorite things to do at a thrift store is go to the book section and locate a subject that interests me. So in this case, I'm looking at the cat section. This book title intrigued me. I thought it was funny. So I took this uh, cover off to see if there was a hard cover underneath that looked pretty and would go with my color palette at home. I was just about to leave when I noticed this large painting on the wall. It is so cute. It's definitely original and it's even signed in the bottom corner. We are now in Corvallis and heading into the ARC thrift store. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know I have an addiction to buying vintage lamps. So of course, this solid marble table lamp stopped me in my tracks. There was no price tag nor a lampshade, so I decided to pass. This curved number caught my eye, as did this velvety pink vintage chair. Anything pink and any vintage chair is something I want to take home with me. I loved the shape of this dining table, although I wasn't a fan of the stain. I'm really into floral these days, so I had to take a closer look at these chairs and they were in mint condition. They're by Fleming Company, which I think is a mid to high range furniture brand. And when you lift up these armrest covers, that fabric is just stunning. I always sift through the art section at a thrift store because if you can find an original art piece, it is just, it brings so much character to your home. I loved this sketch, but I didn't want to pay $20 for it, especially because there was no frame. This macrame wall hanging would have had me shaking back in 2017 when I was in my boho era, but alas, it's not my style anymore. This caught my eye, real brass hooks, and it says it was made in Old Hangtown, USA. And of course, I love these, uh, this pair of glasses, but sadly, there were only two, so I didn't get any. As far as what I got at the thrift stores, I got three cat books and this one Castles book. I pretty much love any book having to do with cats, and these all have beautiful hard covers underneath um, the paper sleeves, so I'm just going to take off all of the covers and then show you how I style them in my home. I also could not resist this original painting. I'm pretty sure someone just painted over an existing piece of art based on what I can see on this canvas. It was only $14.99 plus all the green tags were 25% off. So I think I paid around $12 for this. I'm just trying to decide where to hang it. <laughs> 